Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself. And get this, tomorrow is the opening premiere of the upcoming new movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. I am so high, I can hear ever. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I love Spider-Man ever since since I was little. But not only him, but also his rogue gallery. Yes, you hear me? I'll be doing my very own top five villains of Superman who are The baddest of the bad, the worst of the worst. I mean, he has some awesome colorful heroes right here. Okay, for this list, I'll be choosing one of the most most notorious villains who who are such a threat, threat to Spider-Man in every way. Okay, let's get started. Number five. Mr. Negative. Yes, Mr. Negative, also known as Martin Lee, Lee, who who was a chi who was a Chinese gangster, but then that all changed until he was enhanced and got special powers. In fact, the word Mr. Negative came from a photographic negative. The way how he looks, all black and white, white, and all the powers he have, he was pretty dangerous, dangerous for Spider-Man. Ever since I saw him in the, in the, the new rebooted video game they made, made with the other villains, and he, and he was an as, and he was a ruthless leader to the, to his. To his minions, he called the demons. Okay, number four, Craven the Hunter. I yeah, but his real name was Sir Sergey Cravenoff. Off, he, off. He used to be, he used to be a, he used to be an explorer, but he got. But that all happened until he got injected, injected with a serum that made him more animal than human. I mean, when he got back from New York, he had a he had a sick thrill of hunting, hunting Spider-Man, and as as his as his last trophy and trophy and want to become the most greatest hunter to do it. I mean, he he was almost skilled up to the task, task, which made him a great, great member of the Sinister Six. And to think, Aaron Taylor Johnson is playing playing him in his own solo movie. I hope he pulls it out more more than Venom. Venom. Okay, number three, Mysterio. Yes, Mysterio. You yeah. oh. yeah. know, but his real name was Quentin Beck, who was a Hollywood Hollywood illusionist who, like, who does makeup and create monsters monsters you know you know the story story but that'll change until he got fired and used his skills skills of becoming becoming the world's world's evil illusionist called mysterio i got to say he did he did have that he did pull off a magician vibe you know 
And now we got Jake Gyllenhaal playing the villain, villain in in Far From Home. <laughs> I gotta say, I was I was a bit confused how he, how at first we thought he was gonna be the hero in the movie, but turns out he was a villain all along. <laughs> That's the problem with magicians. It's always the misdirection. Okay, number two, Carnage. I'm friends with the monster, the son of my bed. Get along with the voice. Yes, Carnage. I would add, I would add Venom for number two, but I think we should sh shed some light on the Red Symbiote, who, who is an offspring of Venom. But his real name is Cletus Cassidy, Cassidy, the notorious mass murderer who has a taste for blood and carnage. Carnage. I mean, I gotta say, carnage was so deadly and so dangerous, dangerous in Spider-Man's Rogue Gallery. I mean. The way, the way how he was so, so dead, deadly in the movie Venom, Let There Be Carnage, he was unstoppable. Well, well, and, and Cle Cletus Cassidy was, was terrifying as hell. Hell. I must say, Woody Harrison pulled off a most Awesome villain ever, ever, ever since, since his '90s movie, movie Kill, Natural Born Killers. Okay, before before we get to our number one pick, here are my honorable mentions. Okay, so for number one, one is one of the most, all the most awesome villains ever, who, who, who was like a, like a ying, ying to Spider-Man's yang, Green Goblin. Yes, Green Goblin. I was thinking of adding Dr. Octopus for this one, but who else would be more suited for number one? Okay, Green Goblin was the most terrifying, wicked villain that Spider-Man crossed hairs with. He, he was absolute, he was absolute crazy, Crazy, he, crazy. He was, he was packed with an arsenal of weapons, like his glider, for example, and, and his pumpkin bombs. Those were, those were troublesome. <laughs> and I really like it how he modified, fight them as, well as his, ninja blades. You know, like in, like in the first movie by. That Sam Raimi directed. Whoa, oh, well, and he was portrayed, and he was fabulously portrayed by none other than William Dafoe. I gotta say, William Daf William really pulled it off to a T. I I just love it. He love it. Green Goblin was amazing. I loved him ever since he was in he was in the Spider Man. And show show back in the nineties. Okay, you guys, I guess that's it for my top five list for the vi villains of Spider-Man. So, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, 
and make sure you all see Spider-Man No Way Home tomorrow. Bye!